Good morning, and welcome to another Tulsa City County Library Build-A-Reader Story Time. I nearly forgot it was a library there for a minute. It's morning, everybody. Oh, I'm Miss Tori, and I'm going to be reading you some books today. Let's get started. Hey, howdy, hello. It's a beautiful day. I'm glad you could join me as I talk and play, so come in. We'll write and sing, we'll smile for a while, and I'll read a few things. I've got stories to share, and so much to be done. But if we all work together, we can make the day fun. I'm so happy you're here, you know. Hey, howdy, hello, let's go. Okay. So... As you know, I like to start my story times with bouncy songs. So we're going to do that. I am going to put on my riding helmet. There we go. Got my riding helmet. And I'm going to grab my pony. And we're going to do some bouncy songs. Uh, I have a new one for us this week that I just stole from Miss Stephanie at the Broken Arrow Library. So if you ha have a lap to sit in to do some bounces with us. Go ahead and sit in that person's lap right now. <clears throat> this one's about a hippo. It goes like this. A hip, a hip, a hippopotamus got on, got on, got on the city bus and all, and all, and all the people said, you're squishing us. And then a cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus and all, and all, and all the people said, move over. But then, a sheep, a sheep, a sheep got on the bus, and all, and all, and all the people said, back up. <laughs> right, so thank you to Miss Stephanie at the Broken Arrow Library for that one. And now let's go to London. A smooth road to London town, a smooth road to London town. The road goes up and the road goes down, a smooth road to London town. But by and by we come to a wood and there the roads are not so good. A bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road to London town. A smooth road to London town, a smooth road to London town. The road goes up and the road goes down, a smooth road to London town. By and by we come to a dell, and there the roads are not so swell. A rough road, a rough road, a rough road to London town. Let's do one more. I want someone to buy me a pony, jig jog, jig jog, jig jog, gee. Not too fat and not too bony, jig jog, jig jog, jig jog, gee. For I want to go for a ride all across the countryside with a jig jog, jig jog, jig jog, jig jog, jig jog, jig jog, gee. Great bounces, you guys. I love bouncy songs. Let's tickle our babies. Eye winker, nose smeller, mouth eater, chin chopper, and a little baby gullet. Eye winker, nose smeller, mouth eater, chin chopper, and a little baby gullet. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put Roach away now. Everyone say bye-bye, Roach. Bye-bye, Roach. So today is May the 1st. A lot of people call that May Day. It's May Day, and May Day is all about springtime. Spring and flowers. The April showers are behind us, and it's time for May flowers. So I'm just going to put on my flower crown. And I've got some lovely books for us today. Lovely books about flowers and springtime. Now this one is called When Spring Comes by Kevin Hinkies. 
And this one is available, you guys, for digital checkout on our Hoopla service and possibly some others I didn't actually check before I got on here. I know it's on Hoopla. I know that. When Spring Comes by Kevin Hinkies, illustrated by Laura Dronzek. And I just love these beautiful pastel colors in here. Before spring comes, the trees look like black sticks against the sky. But if you wait, spring will bring leaves and blossoms. Isn't that a pretty picture? Do you see the bunnies? How many are there? One, two. If you wait, spring will make the leftover mounds of snow smaller and smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. We're past that part way past it. Before spring comes, the grass is brown. But if you wait, spring will turn it green and add little flowers. If you wait, an egg will become a bird. A seed will start growing. Spring comes with sun. We've got that today. And it comes with rain. And more rain. And more rain. Do you like mud? Do you like puddles? I hope you like umbrellas. I hope you do. Before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt to fill up the garden. And spring will call out the pussy willows and new kittens too. Pussy willows are what we call the fluffy buds on some of the trees outside. <clears throat> Spring can come quickly or slowly. It changes its mind a lot. But when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. There will be buds and bees and boots and bubbles. There should be bubbles. You guys have bubbles you can play with today? There will be worms and wings and wind and wheels. You will feel it. You will smell it. You will hear it. When spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you are not. Now you have to wait for summer. Oh, look at those fun summer things. Boats and beach balls and buckets and popsicles and fireworks. There's always something good to wait for. Good things come to those who wait. That's what my grandma says. Hi, grandma. Because she watches. Okay, we're going to do our yoga. We're going to do our yoga. So I want you to sit in a comfortable position. I want you to take a deep breath. And let it out. I want you to think about spring things. I want you to reach up tall. Like a tree. I want you to bend like a tree in the wind. And then I want you to bend the other way. 
I want you to stretch out your branches, really big tree. And then I want you to squeeze up small, like a flower and a bud. Are you a flower? And then we're gonna bloom. Take another deep breath for me. That was our yoga today. Good yoga practice. Namaste. <laughs> Gonna sing us a song about growing things. And I'm probably going to forget the song in the middle of the song. You'll see why. There is a tree out in the wood, the prettiest tree you ever did see. There's a tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around, all around and the green grass grows all around. And on this tree, there is a branch, the prettiest branch you ever did see. There's a branch on the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground. And the green grass grows all around, all around and the green grass grows all around. And in this branch, there is a nest, the prettiest nest you ever did see. There's a nest in the branch, and the branch on the tree, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the ground. And the green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. And in this nest, there is an egg, the prettiest egg. You ever did see There's an egg in the nest and the nest in the branch and the branch in the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground. I nearly forgot where we were there. And the green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. Let's see, we had an egg? Yeah? Okay. And in this egg there was a bird, the prettiest bird you ever did see. There's a bird in the egg, and the egg in the nest, and the nest in the branch, and the branch in the tree, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the ground. And the green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. And in this, on this bird, there was a wing, the prettiest wing you ever did see. There's a wing on the bird, and the bird in the egg, and the egg in the nest, and the nest in the branch, and the branch in the tree, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the ground, and the green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around, and the green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. The You know, a lot of people keep singing that song. There's a feather on the wing, and there's a flea on the feather, and there's a germ on the flea, and and the green grass grows all around, all around. So another friend told me today, it's not just May Day, it's also Lay Day. If you're in Hawaii, it's Lay Day. That's what these flower necklaces are called, called Lays. So... It, you can make one of these at home, you know. You just cut the flowers out of paper, and you put a hole in the middle, and you string it on some yarn, and then you have a necklace too. Spirit, do you wanna wear a necklace? Come here, girl. Come here. Come here, you'll be the prettiest puppy. She's so pretty. My goodness. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at us. Look how pretty we are. If your dog doesn't let you dress them in costumes, it's defective. <laughs> so, got another book about springtime and flowers for us. This one is called Bloom Boom. Bloom Boom, and this is actually a nonfiction book. Nonfiction. You can see it is 582 because in the nonfiction section, science books are in the 500s and plants are in the 580s so this is 582 that was probably more of a lesson for elementary story time and not for zero to five story time but we're gonna run with it this is bloom boom 
by April Sayer. Here's one of my favorite nonfiction authors. She does lots of cool books with beautiful pictures like this one. Every spring across the land. Seeds sprout. Stems pop out. Bloom, boom. Leaves emerge. Stocks surge. Bloom, boom. Plants rise, shapes surprise. Bloom, boom. Bulbs send, tips extend. Bloom, boom. Buds grow. Blossoms show. I have a very active cat in the next room. I'm sure all of you can hear it. Bloom, boom. Very pretty tree. Petals curve. Insects swerve. Bloom, boom. Look at this. Gorgeous. Colors call, fragrance flies, welcome birds and butterflies, sun rays warm, flowers form, bloom, Boom. And because this is a nonfiction book, it doesn't just have cool pictures in it. It also has information about all the flowers in the pictures. So if you were interested in that, that was Bloom Boom by April Pulley Sayer. And if you were curious about any of the flowers in the pictures, you could check this book out. It's got explanations of all of them. So if you were wondering, what is that plant? The book will tell you. There's lots of resources for learning about plants and flowers at the library. Uh, and a lot of them are available digitally. Did you know that we have garden books for kids? And you can check those out on our digital services like Hoopla and Freeding and Overdrive. And I'm sure there's another I'm forgetting. Um, but you just do a simple search for garden books for kids and lots of them come up. I actually made a list for you guys and uh, I will send the link to the station people. I forgot to do that before we started. So we're going to sing another song. This one's spring related. It's a spring related song. Because we see a lot of bees outside. So I've got a bee here. This is my bee puppet. I like how he's got a glove for his feet so I can do all of his little feet. Okay, so 
we're going to sing a song. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ow! He stung me. So, I'm squishing up my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up my baby bumblebee. Ew. He's all over me. So I'm wiping off my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm wiping off my baby bumblebee. All clean. Okay, let's do another bee thing. I'm going to say, this is the beehive. But where are the bees? They're hidden inside where no one can see. Watch them as they come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to switch hands. Here is the beehive. But where are the bees? They're hidden inside where no one can see. Watch them as they come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Spirit, come here. I'll take it off. She's got her flower necklace on and she's just giving me a look. Come here. She won't. She's afraid I'm going to put another one on her. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to sing another song now. We are going to sing These Are My Glasses. So you want to put on a pair of glasses? Have you got your glasses on? Okay. Let's take those off and get out our books. Let's see what this book is about, shall we? Whoop. Oh, no, there's an angry bee. Close the book. Ugh. Wipe that off. Okay. Let's see if we can find a better book. Ready? Whoop. Oh, this is actually pretty interesting. Sorry, we were going to sing a song. Okay. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and whoop, close up the book. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and whoop, close up the book. Last time. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and whoop, close up the book forgot to say when we started that that song is by the Lori Berkner band. I have to tell you who it's by now that I'm doing it on TV instead of in person. Um, so that's all the time I've got for our zero to five story time today. And we're going to take a little break and then we'll come back and I'll read some elementary age stories for us. Um, and we're going to have more story times until 11. Uh, so stick around. I'm going to sing a goodbye song, then we're going to take our break, and we will come back here in a little bit. Well, goodbye, everybody. See you soon. Well, goodbye, everybody. See you soon. Well, goodbye, everybody. Well, goodbye, everybody. Well, goodbye, everybody. See you soon. Can you sing it like a mouse? How would a mouse sing it? Squeak, 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 squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. Squeak, squeaker, squeak, squeakin'. That's actually squirrel. Don't sing it like a squirrel. The Disney lawyers will get you. Uh, can you sing it like a dog? Woof, 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 woof. Woof, 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 woof. Woof, 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 woof. Woof, 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 woof. Spirit, are you unamused? She is unamused. 
Well, goodbye, everybody. See you soon. Well, goodbye, everybody. See you soon. Well, goodbye, everybody. Well, goodbye, everybody. Well, goodbye, everybody. See you soon. All right. Thank you for joining me. Remember, you can access some of the books I read today on our digital services. You just need your library card. If you have any problems with that, you can call our help desk. That's 918-549-READ, R-E-A-D. 918-549-READ. Again, I'm Miss Tori with the Tulsa City County Library. Stick around for more stories here in a bit.